Well, hey, y'all, and welcome to the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. I am Susan, your hostess, and today I'm going to be pressure canning green beans. Now, I've already got them jarred up. I lost all my footage the other night. I was so tired, and I didn't even think, and I deleted it. So, you're not going to get to see me go through all the process, but I am processing jars on this video. And this is a jar I did the other day. They turned out beautiful. And I'm going to finish that out. We had 15 pounds of fresh green beans we got from the Amish community. I'm so excited about that. Um, we did a little bartering. They needed eggs. We needed green beans. And so we made a trade-off on some of the green beans and then purchased the, the remainder. So it worked out for both of us, and I was really pleased. And I'm going to be using a recipe out of the Ball Complete Book of Home Preserving. This recipe is found on page 386. There are two methods, uh, the raw pack method and then the hot pack method. Well, I'm using a raw pa pack method. I will read through this really quickly, then we're going to go into the kitchen and start the canner. Uh, you're going to wash your beans. You're going to snap them, get rid of the ends and all that, um, and break them into two-inch pieces. Well, I break mine in between one and one-and-a-half-inch pieces because that's the way we like them. You're going to tightly pack your jars and uh, your beans into hot jars as directed in step three on page 385. And then you're going to process pints for 20 minutes and quartz for 25 minutes according to your altitude and you can uh, do some variations on the beans they list french beans romano italian beans yellow wax beans purple snap beans for the green beans and for a particularly attractive presentation you can combine green and yellow beans and um you're going to use a one inch head space. You want to make sure the head space is correct. I am adding a half a teaspoon of salt per jar. Uh, I am using pint jars. If you used a quart, you would use one teaspoon of salt. Now, I did can some green beans one other time. We did not like the finished product. Uh, we had actually been gifted the green beans. And the pods were old and tough. They were, the beans were full in the pods. And normally green beans are picked when they're young and tender. So I'm attributing the reason we didn't like those green beans to the fact that they were full pods and it was tough pods to bite into. So I'm hoping that we will like this product and this actually looks more like what you would buy in the store if it was in a can. So I'm assuming that this is going to be a much, much better product in the end. And I am super, super excited about this. Now I have, I think I have 15 or 16 pints left to can. So you're going to see me go through one canning session. It's not going to be a completely full canner, but I want it to go through the steps with you just so you could see me canning green beans. Now, these have been, I did all the snapping yesterday. I went through and picked out any debris that was in there. I rinsed my green beans really well, and then I put them into clean jars. And last night I had this many left over. I went ahead and set my jars up and put them in the refrigerator overnight. Then early this morning, I took them out so they will come back down to room temperature before they go into the canner. So we're starting with a cold canner, cold jars, cold liquids in the jars, cold food in the jars. And we're going to go through the process as if we had followed everything in the book. So that is what I'm doing different, and you're going to see that in my kitchen. So let's go on my canning adventure. Now this is the jar that I did last night. And these are the jars that I'm doing today. You can see the difference in the color of the beans. And they do cook in the jar. 
So I have washed all my green beans. I have already snapped them, washed them thoroughly. Had clean jars, lids, and bands. I added a, tea, a half teaspoon of salt per pint. I filled my jars tight with beans to the one inch headspace, back filled it with water, debubbled, checked my gauge to make sure that I had a one inch headspace, applied my lids and bands to finger tight. These were in the refrigerator overnight. They have been sitting out since early this morning, so they're room temperature. And this one is going back into my pantry. So now I have my canner prepared. I have a clean canner, fresh water in my canner. This canner is a Presto 16 quart. It holds three quarts or three liters of water. It's got a little gauge inside, a little mark on the side that you can feel with your finger to make sure that you got the white, right water amount in there. I have greased the edge of my canner here and I have also greased and applied my gasket inside. I have checked through the peephole. I see light. And so I know I'm ready to get this ready to load. So I'm going to just set my lid there while I'm doing this. And I'm going to load this. It's not going to be a full canner. I'm putting in eight pints. I've got eight pints and then I've got seven pints that I'm going to do afterwards. So I divided them instead of having one full canner and then a, a very low partial, I decided I would can them and get them as close to a full canner as I could with this method. And so I'm going to can this. And then I'm going to apply my lid and then we're going to start our temperature and get this up to a full head of steam. Let it steam for 10 minutes. Then I'm going to drop my weight, which is 10 pounds of weight for me, um, onto this. Wait for this to start rocking. I get a steady rock. And then I will set my timer for 20 minutes. After that 20 minutes is over, I will turn off my heat source and I will not touch my canner but allow it to come down off pressure which usually takes me between 40 and 45 minutes depending on the temperature in the house. Um, and once this, this button here pops down flat, I know that I can safely open my canner and then I, I will turn the lid and let it sit on there for an additional five minutes. Then I'll remove the lid for five minutes, then take my jars out. That helps to keep from siphoning off the liquids. So we are ready to go. And all I gotta do now is to show you the jars in the canner. And here are my jars in the canner with the water. I'm going to apply my lid. It's got an arrow here and it's got an arrow on, on the handle right here. I'm going to align those and close my lid. Now I make sure my pot is centered on that burner and I do have a special burner on my electric stove specifically for canning purposes that raises it up a little bit higher from the surface. So for this canner you're supposed to be on a medium high heat. On my stove that would be an 8 and we're just going to wait for that steam to come on. Once this is finished with the process we will be back and I will show you the finished product at the end of this. Okay the little button up here on the top is down and I'm going to open my canner and just quickly twist the lid and allow it to sit for five minutes like that and then I'm going to take the lid off and let it sit for another five minutes then remove our jars. Okay it's time to take them out of the canner. 
Ooh, they're popping already. I like that sound. Aren't they pretty, y'all? Look at that. Pretty, pretty green beans. Beautiful, beautiful. Now I'm going to dump the water out of my pot or fill it with cold water and reload my canner, but I wanted to show you these. They are looking so, so good. And yes, they are still bubbling inside the jars. Oh, there's a pop. Look how pretty they are. They are pretty green beans. Pantry, stable, shelf, stable. Well, there's 15 pints, y'all. They're all canned. I'm just waiting on the last of them to seal. And we're going to call this a canning success. Well, y'all, we've had another canning adventure, and this was my canning adventure with fresh green beans from the Amish community. I have a total of 33 pints on my pantry shelves now, which I think is wonderful. They're over there pinging like crazy. So I just took the last batch out of the canner, and I am calling it a day. I've got to get in the kitchen and cook some supper, so... I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Thank you, friends, for coming to watch my channel. Thank you for joining in the conversations. And thank you to all the new friends and the friends that have been here since day one. I am enjoying the journey, and I appreciate y'all tagging along. May you be fully blessed.